Alright y'all, what is going on guys? And today we're back with another banger video. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we do have a vlog for you guys. So, basically, I've been up since like 6 something in the morning. Today's my day off from school, but I actually had something for, you know, let's just say your boy might have got a job. I'm just going to say that your boy might have got another job on the side, but I'll talk more about that in another video. So, I had to do something in the morning from 7 to 9. Now, I'm back. I just watched the new Mandalorian episode because the final episode came out when I'm recording this. Obviously, this video is coming out like a week later but i watched the last ep mandalorian episode i'm just catching you up on what i did today so now it is currently i think it's almost 11 o'clock right now and we are actually going to go to book off i know we've been going to book off and the manga store a lot recently in the vlogs um but today we're not really going to buy stuff i'm more so cleaning out some things and it's just stuff that you know i could sell it on whatnot but mainly whatnot i do more streetwear ish stuff but whatnot sometimes i do bring in the legos and that type of stuff so it's not legos and it's not streetwear and it's like i'm in this weird in between where like it's like, do I just go to book off or do I try to sell it on whatnot? But basically what I'm saying is I'm going to be clearing out my Pokemon shelf. Now, I'm going to keep some stuff from it, obviously, but I'm going to be clearing out my Pokemon shelf and I'm going to be uh, getting rid of two Funkos from the Spider-Man section. I'm going to be moving the Spider-Man section into here. So that's what's going to happen with this. And then um, those as well, those Naruto figures at the bottom, I might get rid of those just because I'd honestly rather have Naruto statues. Like I do love the action figures, but I have enough like action figures. Like I'd rather buy these. Like this is way more cool to me and way more detailed and just like, I don't know. It's like those you guys probably didn't even know I have because there's they've been there since I've moved into this apartment. So although I am going out today, who knows if we'll buy something. That's why I'm saying I don't know. But this isn't really supposed to be a shopping vlog. This is more of a declutter vlog you guys know i do these tend to do these often whether it's on whatnot whether it's on a vlog or something me cleaning up some stuff but yeah i do have an idea of at least what i want to do so let's just get into you know clearing off these shelves so this is the little before section now let me show you what it's going to look like after Okay, so I pulled everything out of this shelf and it's pretty dusty, so I'm about to get a duster and dust it. And then I just have like, I'm just gonna go through this because I don't even know what was really in there. These ones aren't even actually Pokemon cards. These were actually sent to me from one of you guys, so I do appreciate the person that actually sent these out to me. One of my favorite things I do own. It is all like the Big Sean albums, but on Pokemon cards. So these, obviously, I'm never gonna get rid of these. But Eevee, I won't get rid of because me and Amanda actually bought these and built them together. I don't know if you guys could tell, but they're like the ones that you build. One of them we got on our actual like first date ever. So yeah, Eevee, we won't get rid of Eevee. I'm not gonna lie, this is, I'm pretty sure this is candy. I'm pretty sure this is candy. Yeah, so that's not going anywhere. This is like the only actual Pokemon cards I own. I don't own, like, I don't know. I never, like, when I was a kid, obviously, I was into collecting Pokemon cards. But, like, you know how, like, during quarantine, everybody kind of hopped back on the Pokemon wave? I never really did. Um, I just, I just got these ones randomly. So, yeah, I think I got these at, like, Target, like, uh, two years ago or a year ago. I don't know. Me and Amanda got them, though. Okay, so now that I've cleared that stuff out of the way, I'm going to take off the actual Spider-Man stuff that I'm going to keep. I'm pretty much keeping all the Spider-Man stuff. I think I might just get rid of like this pop and this pop, but that's about it. But I just got to make them fit on that shelf. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is the little Spider-Man shelf and I'm not gonna lie, I love it. I think it's so cool. Like I like the way the Spider-Man looks better over here. Like, I don't know, I feel like it matches this vibe and like, it's just cool. Cause I felt like that shelf, had nothing on it like i don't know compared to the other ones it just felt like it didn't go with the theme if that makes sense so i was like i don't like the way that the spider-man one looks over there and plus now i could spread out the spider-man stuff so i have this one right here and then as well as the lego figures which will go back onto this white shelf right here okay shelf clear spider-man shelf way better right like i love it way better then we moved the spider-man over here cool right Cool, I put this car here that I got. Oh, actually, I didn't even make a vlog out of it. But basically, it wasn't expected. So go follow me on TikTok at paul.souls. But basically, me and Amanda spent $150 in the Lego store because like some promotion thing that we didn't even know about. Like I didn't vlog that day. I wasn't planning nothing. But put this up here as well as I got this little Star Wars um, brick heads right here. And yeah, so basically, the reason I cleared that shelf off is because in May, um, I'm going to have, I, I took this off of the shelf, the Spider-Man one, because in May, they are dropping a four pack pack of Star Wars ones. Now, obviously, if I get four more Brickheads, it's not going to fit on the shelf anymore. So I figured how I did the Funko Pops, I could do with the Brickheads. So that's why I wanted the one from the Spider-Man shelf gone. 
here is the stuff that I'm probably gonna bring to book off as well as you know the regular spider-man shelves there now and now we got an open spot to do whatever I want with it to help fit the theme a little bit better okay so that window has not been open in a minute I wanted up keeping these three for three for two reasons these two are like comic-con exclusives like this pack comic-con exclusive that pack comic-con exclusive they go for like a hundred dollars each book off is probably gonna give me like 10 bucks for them so no screw that and then this Naruto figure I just really like like it's just cool and then the ones that I wanted up getting rid of were these just because I have multiple figures of these and like I don't need them all so I got like you know I got Minato right here which I have a Minato statue thing uh these are just literally more Naruto's with just different eyes same exact mold and everything this Gara figure again I have another Gara figure he's literally in there Itachi he's he's right there like it's the same exact Itachi just that one it has like a metallic finish so I don't need that one Kakashi I have like mad Kakashi figures this Sakura um I would keep Sakura because I don't have anything like Sakura like that, but there's a cooler statue coming out soon, so I'd rather just get that. And then again, another Sasuke, but there's two Sasuke's in those things. So these are just duplicates and just me being obsessive and being a collector. So gonna get rid of these and that stuff over there. So yeah, wound up just keeping three. And then obviously this big boy right here, just like my prized possession. All right, y'all, your boy is dressed and ready to go. So we do got the bag down there of stuff that I'm gonna be dropping off. Let's see how much they're gonna give me. I'm not gonna lie, they're gonna... It's whatever. It's whatever. It's stuff that I know I'm just not I'm not going to take the energy to sell list everything individually on eBay. So I'm not going to complain. Let's just go out, get some a little bit of cash today. Look around at book off as well. See what they got. Maybe we'll check out some other stores in the surrounding area, but then come back and uh, yeah, just record the rest of the day. Again, we got an open shelf, which is always nice. I actually got this Naruto Funko Pop um, again, if you saw the TikTok. So I had to move everything up one. So there's an empty spot right there. And I do want to get Sakura. Amanda has Sakura, but I want to get like my own Sakura. So I might go stop by um what's it called what's the comic store called i forgot montesi comics and i've always i see that they normally have sakura so i might pick up sakura we'll see all right y'all so as you guys can tell we are heading out to go to book off because like i said we're gonna go sell all that stuff that we just freaking put in the bag and um all right they're not gonna give me too much but we're gonna get some money at least and uh, i had to check at the funko wall right away because you know it's the funko wall but there was really nothing at the funko wall today or in the bags i didn't really find anything cool maybe i might have missed some things but normally i at least find like one to two cool things i found this bleach pop but again i, I just started watching bleach recently it's kind of boring to me right now but i know it's gonna get better so all my bleach fans calm down but i didn't really find anything cool in book off today like it was low key l but again that's probably for the better because i didn't need to buy anything literally i went to make money today not buy things but we'll see how that goes we're in the manga section now so checking out the manga section i found good night pun pun volume four um but it was 18 dollars. normally it's 25 so i'm probably gonna pick up the volume four because you know I want to start that series and i know i'm not gonna that volume four is not gonna sit there that's the only volume they even have in the whole store so i was like you know what i'm gonna pick it up now since it is only that 18 dollars and then i was looking at the bear bricks and i really do want to get a bear brick one day um like a nice one i just i don't know none of them have really like spoke to me it's just kind of like whatever so i do want to get a bear brick though and hopefully in the summertime maybe i don't know why i'm feeling like around my birthday i'll probably cash out and get a bear brick somewhere but then we stopped at five below and again another l like we're just taking l's to l's to l's like this five below has been so, so bad recently i feel like i don't know maybe it's because like it's just been the same things for a while but i haven't seen anything new or interesting or cool like i feel like every week there was something different but now we're stopping by montesi comics and the reason we're going to montesi comics is because like i said i do want a sakura funko pop like i said earlier i want to get that sakura funko pop and i know that montesi does have sakura funko pop so we're gonna pick this one up today and put it on our shelves then we went into kino kanuai they had this 22 to 26 volume as well as tombs and a few other volumes that weren't there like a few days ago when we went um they had go go loser ranger volume four which i will definitely be picking up because i have volumes one through three and then i wound up looking at the statues and they didn't have anything too crazy honestly it's been like kind of the same like i don't know what's been going on like maybe i've just been going too much that nothing's been changing but even the funko wall was dead and i wound up getting good night pun pun volume one as well all right y'all we just got back to the crib right tachi say um daddy's home <gasps> daddy's home hey yo whoa, whoa, whoa. anyway but yeah we just got back to the crib and as you guys saw got this from book off so i was like you know what i really want to start it so i wound up getting volume one from the manga store and then i didn't know that go go loser ranger volume four came out and i have volumes one through three i haven't read them yet but i already know i'm gonna like the series so that's why i bought it so i got those three volumes which i'm probably gonna read this today like once i'm done with this video and then we got sakura because like i said earlier I just feel like I gotta put it there. Like Amanda has Sakura, but like, I feel like I gotta put it right next to Lady Tsunade and then this one's done and then that one has space still. So yeah, I mean, 
I feel like it'll look nice up there and it'll complete it so it's not uneven. All right, y'all, so it is currently the next day. I'm not gonna lie, I just went to school, came home from school, all that stuff, and I realized I didn't close off the video, but it's okay because I have a quick little unboxing right here. So I got these off of eBay. Yes, it is a pair of shoes. And like I said, I don't know if I said it earlier in this video, I might have, but I was saying like, oh, like, you know, I had to go do something yesterday morning that was, you know, job related. So I did buy these shoes because I do have, obviously I have, I have plenty of shoes to wear, but for the specific job, I wanted to wear these shoes and then my Solomons and more like, you know, workout-y type shoes, I guess you could say. Not really workout, but you know, more like sportswear -y type shoes. So these I did find on eBay for 50 something dollars. I wound up offering $38 or something like that. And I, the guy accepted the offer. So I was like, bet, say less. Cause I was gonna get a brand new pair, but brand new, they're like 140, 160, 190, depending on the model. And I've been wanting to get a pair of shoes from this brand for a minute. I always check when I go to the thrift shop. I always check on eBay, which is where I bought these shoes. And it just felt good to find a nice little eBay steal. So we're gonna see what these look like in person. Again, keep in mind, these were $38. So I'm not expecting them to be in the best condition, but I just really like the model and the colorway. So let's open these bad boys up and we do have a pair of pokers yes now you're probably like boy what the hell but these are tough i really do mess with hoka i think hokas are definitely fire and i just like this colorway because it was like this weird like grayish brown it looks more gray on camera it has like this like brown tinge to it in person and i just like the blue and again like i said i wanted to get a pair of shoes like this like you know kind of like my solomon's kind of like hoka -y, asic -y, like type of like you know vibes so yeah these are them right here i'm probably gonna put these in the wash machine and wash them good and all that stuff so yeah size nine and a half I was able to get these big chunky sole on these not bad and yeah I just like the colorway pair of hokers something calm and comfortable I could wear so yeah got these are called the Bondi fives so or Bondi I don't know the exact one but it's the hokers so yeah first pair of hokers never owned a pair of hokers I was gonna get hokers this winter for you know winter boots because I liked the parachute boots that they had but then I wound up finding my Merle winter boots which if you guys saw the ones that I got from the, in the vlog one time in the winter time but yeah so got these for $38 not much I could really say but that's pretty much it for this vlog I hope you guys did enjoy if you're not following me on Instagram at Paul.Souls go follow me if you're not following the TikTok at Paul.Souls go check it out because we've been going crazy on TikTok recently and yeah subscribe to the channel if you guys have been one of the grinds to 90,000 subscribers so it would just mean a lot if you guys did hit that subscribe button anyway catch you guys in the next one and we out Grr. Can't get caught, I'ma be different stage. My mama blowing on my phone, seeing if I'm okay. I had to get up out the hood.